In a high-profile case, a man has been found guilty of the murder of L. Edwards, who was tragically shot outside a pub on Christmas Eve. The incident occurred as the culmination of a gang feud, where the assailant, Connor Chapman, targeted two men but ended up fatally shooting the innocent bystander. L. Edwards, a 26-year-old beautician, was enjoying a night out with friends at the Lighthouse Pub in Wirral when the shooting occurred. As the verdicts were read in Liverpool Crown Court, L's father, Tim Edwards, called Chapman a coward while tears filled his eyes. Expressing his relief outside the court, Tim Edwards said, It's a big relief because now we can start again. We've been through hell and we deserve now to be given a life back that we had before, which will never be the same. It's now a new chapter, a new beginning for our family. It's the worst day, but the best of the worst days. Chapman's co-defendant, Thomas Waring, was also found guilty of charges related to the possession of a prohibited firearm and assisting an offender by helping to destroy the stolen vehicle used in the shooting. Both Chapman and Waring will be sentenced by Mr. Justice Goose at 1400 hours British summer time on Friday. During the trial, it was revealed that the attack was a result of a feud between gangs residing in the Woodchurch and Beechwood estates on opposite sides of the M53 in Wirral. The prosecution presented evidence that Chapman intended to kill Kieran Sockold and Jake Duffy, who were seriously injured in the shooting. These two individuals, from the Beechwood estate, had previously assaulted another man, Sam Searson, on the street. The shooting also resulted in injuries to three unrelated individuals, Harry Lochran, Liam Carr, and Nicholas Speed. Chapman had concealed himself outside the pub for nearly three hours before opening fire with a submachine gun capable of firing 15 rounds per second. Chapman claimed during the trial that he had not used the stolen Mercedes, which he referred to as a pool car used by him and other criminals, on the night of the murder. He alleged that he had given the car key to an unnamed man. However, CCTV footage presented during the trial showed Chapman driving away from the scene of the shooting and later dropping the gun near Waring's residence. Chapman was arrested in Wales on January 10 after fleeing to a holiday home in Montgomery. The jury found him guilty of multiple charges, including murder, attempted murder, possession of a gun and ammunition, and two counts of wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. Waring was found guilty of possessing a prohibited firearm and assisting an offender. The trial lasted three and a half weeks, with the jury deliberating for three hours and 48 minutes. Before the jury was sent out to deliberate, Waring appeared in court with visible injuries sustained from an attack in HMP Altcourse, where he was being held. Chapman had been branded a coward by Elle's father as he was taken to the cells. Following the verdict, Detective Superintendent Paul Grounds expressed satisfaction that justice had been served and emphasized the impact of Chapman's arrogance and contempt for others. He praised the jury for seeing through Chapman's lies and stated that Elle's family had been forced to endure the painful ordeal of reliving her final moments during the trial. Merseyside Police and Crime Commissioner Emily Spurl commended the police force's dedication, with officers working tirelessly during the holiday season to support the victims, provide reassurance to the community, and bring Chapman to justice. She also expressed gratitude to the brave witnesses who came forward with evidence and the community of Wallasey for their empathy and compassion. As the sentencing of Chapman and Waring approaches, the community hopes that the legal process will bring closure to L. Edwards' grieving family and provide a sense of justice for the tragic loss they have suffered. Well, we got the result we wanted, justice for Ellie. So it's always been about um, those two cowards in there decided to drag it out for four weeks, put all these people through that, and everyone else around it involved in the case. Can't thank the police enough for what they did, and we got there in the end, and the right results. And you know what? I hope them two never see another Christmas again ever in their lives.
Chapman tried to hide from you in the dock. He tried to keep his head so that he couldn't see you. I've had my eyes on him for four weeks, three weeks, four, however long it's been, and he has not looked at me once because he's a coward, and that's exactly what he is. I mean, I, I couldn't care less about him. Don't even, I'll never, ever mention his name, and I hope he rots in hell. How much of a relief is this for you, Tim? I've spoken to you for the last six months, ever since this happened. How much of a relief, personally, is this for you? It's a big relief, because now we can start again. We've been put through hell, and we, we deserve now to be given, to, you know, given the life back that we, that we had before, which will never be the same. And we can just, it's just, it's, a, it's now a new chapter. It's a new beginning for our family. Big day. Big day indeed, yeah. It's, it's, it's the worst day, but the best of the worst day.